Let's now talk about escape sequences in C Sharp. What they are, how do they work, and how do we code them? Escape sequences are used to insert visible and non-visible characters in a text, which we can't insert directly because of the language restriction in the syntax. And as a beginner C Sharp programmer, you need to learn some of them. Some very useful escape sequences. We are going to learn four commonly used sequences. I have listed them in my program. Double quote sequence, tab sequence, new line sequence, and backslash sequence. Let's now look at them one by one. The double quote sequence is used to insert a double quote in the text. As you know, the double quote is a reserved character in C sharp. We use it to create text or a string. As you can see, this entire text is surrounded by the double quotes. The first double quote marks the start of the text and the last double quote marks the end of the text. And these double quotes are not shown in the output because they are the part of the syntax. Let me show you the output first. In the output, you can see double quotes are gone. Now, what if I want the name Peter inside the double quotes? So I can't simply put double quotes around the name Peter. Our program shows an error because the syntax is wrong. The syntax is disturbed. The compiler now thinks our string or the text it starts from here and ends here and does not understand the rest of the text. We are getting this error because the double quotes have different meanings. They are the part of the syntax. They define a string. So here we have a restriction. We can't simply use a double quote character just by putting it in the text. So in this case, if we want double quotes in the output, we have to escape them. Escaping simply means we tell the compiler, don't consider a character, a escaped character, as part of the syntax. And to do so, we use a escape character. A escape character in C Sharp or other programming languages is a backslash character. So if I put a backslash before the double curves around the name Peter, things will be good. So what we have done, we have escaped the double quotes. And escaped double quote is just considered as a normal character. Now you will see double quotes in the output around the name Peter. So let's check it out. So you can see the first line in the output. The name Peter has double quotes around it, right? Now the second sequence is the tab sequence. Tab sequence is used to put a tab in the text. A tab equals eight or four spaces. So if I want tab space in the output, I will use backslash T. So let's put some tab sequences in the text. Here you can see I put many tab sequences. Here we have two single tab spaces and here we have twice. So if I run the program, you will see the difference in the output. You will see different spaces in the text. Now here you see the result, right? The space is applied in the output. Now our third escape sequence is called new line. New line is a very commonly used sequence. We use it to break the line in the text so that it can be presented in more readable form. Now, let's say right after the hello word, I want to put a line break. I want hello word on the first line and rest of it to the second line. So I will put a line break using the sequence backslash n. 
Now in the output, you will see this text is spread over two lines. Let's check it out. And here you see the output. Hello world on the first line. This is Peter on the second line. And now the last sequence is called backslash. Now you are aware of that the backslash character is already taken. Backslash character in the text is actually used for escaping, right? So here you have seen several examples. So what if you want backslash character as part of the output? For example, in a pigram, you want to define a file path. A file path contains one or more backslash characters. So as we write normal file path using backslashes, our program thinks we are putting sequences. As you can see, the color is changed here and program thinks we are putting a sequence here, backslash R, a sequence here, backslash F, and a sequence here, backslash R. So this is not the case. I actually want real backslash characters in the output. If I run this program now, I will get very weird result. So let's check it out. Now you can see what did I get. This is not the path I defined in the code. Something weird happened and we know the cause of that. So to fix the issue, we need to tell the compiler that these backslashes are not for escaping. And we tell that to compiler just by escaping the backslash. And to escape the backslash, we need to put another backslash because backslash is a escaping character. So now you can see we have escaped all the backslashes using the backslash escaped character. Now we will get our desired result in the output. So let's check it out. Now you can see the path in the output containing backslashes, right? So friends, that was all about working with escape sequences. I will see you around. Thanks for watching.